emergency agencies working at the site of this building that collapsed on Lagos Street in the Garaki area of Abuja, looking on at neighbors and residents of the general area. Some of the residents in the area give an account of the incidents. We were standing when the rain was about to fall. So about seven minutes after 11, there was a wind blowing. So before we know, the Nepal took light. But we know after like 10 minutes, we saw people were shouting. Everywhere was, everywhere was dusty. This is my own compound, near to the compound where these things happened. We could not even see. So I have to rush my family out, going back inside to off my, to off my gas. I met two people from underground. They were asking for help. Where I rescued three girls and one died. Yeah, 12. That was when the fire service arrived. Even the one that shocked me, the last girl that I personally rescued, I carried the girl, reaching the police van. The police said that they don't have fuel to take the girl to the hospital. Imagine the country we are in, as we find ourselves in. So, had even the response, even those excavators came on time, those people that passed, I don't think they will. That they would die. It is believed that at least three people are still trapped in the rubble. The emergency agencies say they will leave no stone unturned in the rescue efforts. At least a, not a very large you know, chunk of the people who were trapped in this building have been rescued by you know, all the agencies involved, civil defense, FEMA, fire service, road safety and the rest of, and the police. So we, we all need to do is to just ensure that um, the rescue operation is still ongoing to ascertain if there are still other people trapped you know, in, the, in the remaining rubbles and that is ongoing at the moment. The FCC minister, who days ago threatened to clamp down on illegal and dangerous structures, is not happy. We have told everybody who cares and who believe that the right thing must be done. Assuming we, we don't take decision on what is right, then you come back and say, look, we have lost more lives. So it is for everybody to support government. I know sometimes government decisions may not be too comfortable to be too palatable, but it's for the interest of everybody. And so I've told the permanent secretary, now we have to take action to see that that settlement is done and government take the whole area and plan it uh, out. Because since here they plan the area, even the man who did it, the man had to do the permit. These are the kind of illegal structures we are talking about. That is the same thing we have said. You have complained severely that things are not working. And we have come and assured you that we are going to do this. You have not helped us to tell the public, look, now that the government said, this is what they tell you, we are not supporters. Rather, yeah, what we, you're, we are hold on, hold on, hold on. Rather, what you are doing is to go on a negative side. The government wants to destroy 6,000 videos. Government wants to do this, government wants to do that. We don't come to the positive side by telling the public the action government wants to take is the appropriate thing government should do. Apart from the fact that residents of this area say that emergency first responders did not get here on time, making it difficult to evacuate more people who are trapped in this building, residents of the area also say that most of the buildings in this area have the same defect. Hence, a repeat of such occurrence is just a matter of time. Daily Omoyeni, Channels Television News.